Okay, here she, here she is. The threads of fate draw both of us to this place. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Rendis, once the home of a powerful Telvanni magister named Meln the Mouthless, hmm. but now abandoned. From what I could ascertain, no one knows what happened to the wizard of this tower. That has yet to be determined. One of the strands of fate revealed to me converges at this location. More than that, Hermaeus Mora expects us to learn for ourselves. Of the three sites, this one requires that I be on hand to assist you. Okay. Uh, interesting. I never said it was more important. Just that fate requires both of us here. More than that, we shall need to determine. I do sense a lingering presence. A connection to Apocrypha. Help me investigate this place and Hermaeus Mora will reward you. Final Fantasy 7 Zodiac Age. Journey, journey is below 50% health, etc. Thanks for uh, uh, joining <laughs> to our group, Apox. Uh, yeah, they, these are really interesting when, when you can actually program your companions, but then again, in some games, I really don't bother, like Dragon Age, uh, first, or Dragon Age Origins, that was kind of bother, I, did, I really didn't, we can check how I have set up the Miri here, companion in Elder Scrolls Online, but uh, that's, that's, uh, that's not as deep as a as programming uh, sheet uh, for her to use uh, healing spells when you are uh, below 50. Uh, Dragon Age Origins didn't have it, but second did. Uh, no, Dragon Age Origins had, had it. You could actually program the battle stars. I know because I just streamed it. They were called tactics. Tactics in or, uh, uh, Dragon Age Origins. They were called tactics. Tactics in or, uh, uh, here's the here's the link. Here's the link. So that's that's the, that's the how how you could actually program your your uh, companions in Dragon Age Origins. And its grounds. The threads of fate hang over this place like cobwebs of possibility and consequence. Let us explore the center of the compound and see where those threads take us. Yeah, I didn't use those either because you could basically program, but and and it could have actually saved me some trouble because at the start there were problem that uh, weak characters uh, kind of challenge uh, charged into fray, and that was kind of yeah you could you could avoid it by actually putting time to program tactics, but. Yeah. The Telvani okay, are back one to the great Dunmer houses. They focus on magic and the arcane arts, and they consider power, ruthlessness, and ambition to be paramount. We must be careful in our dealings with them, for they are nothing if not dangerous. This is actually, actually definitely a good thing in this DLC, that it's actually bit portraying to the uh, Telvani their ideology. Uh, power, ruthlessness, and amb ambition, and that's pretty good. And that's probably the reason why the Apocrypha is kind of connected to this place, because those are basically same qualities than Hermes Mora. Yes, but I could not learn much. Just that he owns this tower, but has not been seen in some time. The place is considered abandoned. He was a Telvanni Magister, the highest rank in the house. Second only to the Archmagister. Surprising, uh, re in really small amount of stories, Telvani Wizard is actually a ba bad guy. And that's... Now I think of it, this good... This DLC plot could be like Telvani are trying to take over Apocrypha. Telvani Masters and Magisters avoid yeah. undue socializing, fearing threats from all directions. So they appoint agents to represent them. Mouths. Meln eschewed the practice, hence they called him Mouthless. 
I expect his tower to be a fortress. Yeah, I, I think the tactics in Dragon Age 2 were a bit, bit more usable or user friendly. I wish to survey the tower. Okay, so you can stay there. Go to tell friendlies. Okay, she's she's following us. So now we can, can explore this place. Dusk savers here. Careful, Proxy. I have faced these vampire mercenaries before. Vampire mercenaries. Almost the vampire the mercenaries. The tower's defenses have them well occupied. Everything boils down to the usability. And that's why usability testing is done, because uh, games like this need to be well, well usable for many that's kinds of people. Ready. The tower's defenses continue to oppose us. Melmo's thorough, I'll give him that. Any word from the tower? No progress yet. I'll keep you informed. See that you do, Captain. You then. I expected to have Telrendis all to myself today. And you're certainly not one of Captain Xenthus's vampire mercenaries. <laughs> So I like who this. Who are you and why have you come Telvani to this Master. Uh, of course she can do the business with the vampires. But most most Danvers are like vampires, evil. Abandoned, yes, but not without its defenses. Telrendus is a dangerous place, Fla. I advise you I, not I haven't to interfere played, played with the Zodiac Age. Sabers. And it seems Meln the Mouthless left Telrendus well protected, as my mercenaries can testify. Oh, the Telvani Magister who owned this place. He's been missing for decades. The old fool possessed a book that I very much want to add to my library. Scavenge if you will, as long as you understand the book is mine. Now, why are you really here? Uh, do we lie? Yes, we do lie. Hmm. A capable adventurer might be just what I need. The wards of Telrendis are intended to keep out other Telvani wizards, myself included. And since my dusk sabers are stymied, I have a proposition for you. I'll, I'll, I'll make a note. I'll make a note. Might, might as well check, check the game later. Find a way into the tower and breach Meln's defenses so I can recover the book I seek. You can then attend to your business with the gratitude of a Telvani master. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? She's actually pretty high high up uh, in the Telvani hier hierarchy if she's a master. I suggest you begin with the old Telrendis Hall to the southwest of this camp. Captain Zenfis reports that his Dusk Sabers are having a difficult time there. If you can succeed where they have so far failed, I will make it worth your while. There shouldn't be like, not not too many uh, masters. I I think there was like only one in Elder Scrolls Three. Hmm. I collect arcane relics, Fla. It's something of an obsession of mine. I Fla, send the dust friend. to recover a great many things. A glyphic, you say? I'd have to check my ledger. There are so many items on my list. Are you sure it was the dusk sabers? In my experience, it's hard to tell one vampire from another. It's why I insist that Captain Zenfus wear a name tag. I never tell the Dusk Sabers how to do a job I hire them for. Mercenaries, what can you do? The Necropolis. My favorite ancestor is buried there. It reminds me I owe her a visit. As for Olivelis, I recently bought a glass mine there. I'm trying to get it operational, but it may be a lost cause. You ask the strangest questions, Flav. Mm. She's a bit connected. An appeal to my vanity. How charming and clever. We Telvani think highly of ourselves and enjoy sharing. I'm an accomplished mage, as you might guess. And I have more than earned the right to wear a master's hood. In fact, I should be a magister. Yeah, magist magister is one step uh, up above uh, master. And magisters are like they are council members. The next so she, the she's here, really, 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 really high up. 
I expect to be awarded the rank soon enough. Now, don't eso didn't hook, uh, hook me. Yeah, the, the story with, with the ESO is that I was with uh, beta testing back in 2014, and it was published as a broken game, pretty much, and people left in droves. Okay, fast forward to the 2018, I returned, uh, I joined the role-playing scene here, and started to play, and, and then came... Wait, 2018. No, 2016 came back. 2018, Elder Scrolls on, um, Online Morrowind. And the quality just started to creep up with the DLCs. Because uh, they man uh, managed to make the original game so that they actually laid off lots of people. And rest of the workers actually had to finish the game. So what, what, would, uh, <laughs> what could go, go wrong? Many things. But uh, I remember that back in 2019 and 20, they kind of made a um, uh, refactored the code, which which is really uh, not not common to actually refactor the live service code from the server and client side. So they actually made a sweeping progresses on the game, and now it's something that it should have been back in 2014. But then again, many MMOs like this are kind of Phoenix stories, like uh, Final Fantasy, for example. Wasn't good at the start, but they made it good. So yeah, definitely. So many people kind of creeped up back back in the game after after the uh, uh, after <laughs> DLC started to pour out, which which were really good, and they are producing quality DLCs every year now. So that's that that's why. That bears watching, but the tower remains the crux of our investigation here. Let us find. I suggest you begin with the. Master Shell Rennie has more to do with all this than she lets on, but I sense that our goal here is within the tower. Let us head to the old hall and see if we can access the tower from there. Indeed, whether that book is tied to the threads that brought us here or not has yet to be determined. Okay. And maybe that's a that's a bug. Almost joined the Moorborn myself. Yeah, some some other day maybe perhaps it's it's like if you like Elder Scrolls and you like MMOs. Okay, these these guardians look nasty. Let, let's not go there. But there's a huge amount of stuff to play. I mean, I mean now there's so much to play and so little time. And yeah, it's oops. That's all always something you need to kind kind of. Think about what what games to play. How much do you have time? If you are like working long day in a week, you might not have uh, time for everything. I try to keep lots of time for different games because uh, you learn about other games. You learn how the, they are made and a bit of investigating idea. I'll, I'll teach the game design, so this is basically. Me preparing. A magical ward seals that door. What happened here, mercenary? So what I, I... happened here? The ward killed my comrade. Not easy to do to a dusk saber. I thought we had little to fear from oh, she's and traps, But look what happened to my comrade. Dead as the last swit who stepped out of line across the dusk sabers. Speaking of, who are you and what are you doing here? Nalia tried to push through the ward on that door. The note over there suggests that something in this room disarms the trap. Clearly, she guessed wrong. I think this strange lens is part of the puzzle. We found it by the note. Here, you take it. We obviously weren't able to figure it out. I'll be damned if I try to use it again. If Shoreni sent you, by all means, be my guest. I'm just going to stand back here. Lenses such as that can reveal hidden things. Look through it, Proxy. 
at most summoning circles in the courtyard, servants could be spies, dismiss them, door leading to the portal. Hmm. Intel Rendis Hall is sealed. By a part of uh, my own creations. Destructive resonance. Dispels which deactivates the ward. Remember it's disguised. Use coast site. Banish the cook. NOC plans to poison me. <laughs> Encrypt to hide it. Encrypt and hide it. Can't trust anyone. Okay. Use strange lanes. Off topic. Have you heard about uh, Game Road to Vostok and its dele developer? Yeah, he's he's actually former Finnish uh, army officer who's actually actually doing the solo development for the Road of Vostok. So it should become like new Escape from Tarkov. But yeah, he, he, he's he's guy who just basically had an idea and then decided to learn learn everything. I thought that the vampires actually vanish if they, they or turn to ashes when they die, but this one is here. Maybe maybe he wasn't told full vampire. Yeah. But anyway, what Road of Vostok is really interesting and let's let's see what happens. But then again you can get like lots of uh add-ons and uh, modules for the unity so it's much easier to uh, de uh, develop. And I dread what it's happens when he to tries to make to a it, uh, like a uh, multiplayer game? Because multiplayer games are much much harder to make. I suggest we reach the topmost. And yeah, Morrowind, you had actually to learn the uh, <laughs> fly spell. Otherwise, it's it, it, it's um, something that you couldn't actually access those <laughs> Telavani towers. We have reached the lower level of the tower. There should be more portals to take us higher, Proxy. Okay, Telavan, Telavani. You dare enter the Tower of Mel, Master of the Telavani? Turn back or be destroyed. Okay. A spirit. Ignore it and keep going, Proxy. You aid that thief and liar, Shell Ready Barrow! Provoke me at your own risk, intruder! Interesting. The spirit seems aware of Master Shell Rennie's attempt to access the tower. Okay, he was murdered. Is this spirit actually Mel the Malthus? Perhaps he is the thread that led us here. Actually, according to Morrowind's law, that that uh, master female should actually actually own this <laughs> tower because she managed to murder the <laughs> wizard there. But apparently, that spirit is going to be like, yeah, throwing some curveball for that. Okay, that seems like an angry be pr spirit. Or we could have a nice chat and <laughs> You could have a boss fight, but then again, we, we can also talk. Speak to the spirit, proxy. If there's one thing I learned in death, it's how <laughs> that was good. A living can be. I know all that passes in my home, intruder. I heard your bargain with that so-called master, Sherani Bero. You have given my murderer access to my tower. <laughs> Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition, power, greed. <sighs> Twenty years ago, I stood in Sherani's path. An obstacle to the higher rank she craved. She requested a meeting. Instead of negotiating, she killed me and tried to steal my prized possession. Oh, just all the contingencies I had in place. With my last breath, I banished her from the tower and set all the wards and defenses. They held perfectly well. 
until you mucked everything up. Uh, she'll have no trouble stealing my black book. Ah, uh -huh, black book. The tormenting eye, a tome of forbidden secrets. I see Hermaeus Mora's mark on you and your companion. If you don't know about the black books, she can tell you more. Sharoni uh, Barreau is careless in her pursuit of power. She must not possess my book. Two things protect my book. The spell of eligibility I cast upon it, and the fact that without my aid, it will take her time to break the spell on her own. Still, I'd rather she never get her hands on it. Stop her, and I'll find a way to reward you. Yeah, that definitely good good thing in Elder Scrolls Online that it has always been like fully voice acted, except protagonist. But that's that's like really understandable. And the voice acting has been generally pretty okay. So so that's that's like pretty pretty big bar plus. The thread becomes clear. Hermaeus Mora sent us to recover the black book. Yeah. The black book is mine. And with this soul gem, I also have this miserable spirit. Mel comes with me. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we fight Telvani Wizard. This is going to be like really. Okay, she, she vanished. I knew a Telvani master would be formidable. Come, Proxy. We have plans to make. I'll steal everything from here first. Holding book. More books. The threads of fate here are tied to three things. Master Shell Rennie, Mel the Mouthless, and the Black Book. That was the connection to Apocrypha I sensed here. Black Books are creations of Hermaeus Mora and his realm. Definitely true. Black Books are relics of Apocrypha. Each holds a different secret. Most are kept in the vast libraries of Hermaeus Mora's realm, but he sometimes gifts one to a mortal. In addition to forbidden knowledge, each serves as a portal to Apocrypha. That is a secret the one who knows has not yet shared with me. I can count the number of black books I know about on one hand, and each is unique. Only one copy of each book exists. This is the first I have heard of one titled The Tormenting Eye. We must free Mel the Mouthless from Master Shell Rennie's grasp and retrieve the Black Book. But to do that, we need more information. Look around, Proxy. If Mel was indeed murdered here, there might be proof of Shell Rennie's villainy. Yeah, definitely. I'm waiting Starfield as well because that was pretty uh, nice amount of features they actually showed in a showcase a couple of days ago. And, and, uh, we vo voiceovers are like bonus to that, and I'm kind of kind of waiting to be able to explore space and planets. Uh, it's something that that's actually appeals from the Star Citizen, but Star uh, uh, it feels like uh, Starfield could be the game that uh, Star Citizen could have been. Or squadron 40, 42. Okay, so Melon actually invited Sheldrani here and... Yeah. That letter from Master Sheldrani's mouth. That meeting must have been when Melon was murdered. Ah, uh, Melon the mouth, yes. Mouthless. Well, Melon the skeleton. Melon's remains. Mmm, clear evidence that he was murdered. Actually, I'm gonna live in that world, yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, when we have Melon remains, we could actually do, uh, and the murdered magister. do I some necromancy. Do, proxy. Meln the Mouthless let down his guard and paid the ultimate price. His body has remained here forgotten and undisturbed for decades because he preferred solitude above all else. Now Master Shell Rennie has both Meln's spirit 
and his black book. To recover Meln and his black book, you must find Master Shelreni. And the letter you discovered explains how to do that. Go to the Assembly of Masters at Old Isra and question Shelreni's mouth, Babdru. He shall know how to reach her. No, here our paths diverge. I leave Mouth Babdru and Meln in your hands. While you pursue the spirit, I shall research the Black Book and contemplate the other threads of fate. I must determine how this factors into the threat against Apocrypha. Master Shelreni has trapped Meln's spirit in a soul gem. You must retrieve that gem or destroy it. Go to okay, Old Isra so. and find Shelreni's aide, Mouth Babdru. He must have an office in the tower called Telvara. So basically, when, when the male spirit is in a soul game, game black soul game, uh, we can't actually use necromancy to summon, summon him. <laughs> the Telvani Assembly of Masters meets there. Well, their representatives do. The Masters themselves rarely bother to make an appearance. That is what they have mouths for. You want to go to Telvara. The mouths work out of that tower in Old Isra. I totally realized that the planets are generated, but there's still gonna be handcrafted events in then. And, and uh, handcrafted cells. So basically the technology in, in Skyrim uh, and Elder Scrolls games is that the world is divided to cells. Now what that means is that you can ha handcraft one cell, which is like something like 256 meters times 256 meters, about so. So basically, you can actually handcraft the pieces of land, like some base, and you can actually, like, seamlessly throw them into the world, which is otherwise, like, randomly generated. So, so, yeah, uh, I think they are going for the both uh, best of both worlds kind of solution, where there's handcrafted event locations, but the planets, the wilderness is actually... Uh, uh, random, uh, randomly generated or generated from the base of the seed so basically the uh, locations if you visit same game at the same place it's going to be like mostly mostly similar the masters leave day-to-day -day concerns to their mouths their own arcane studies are far more important to them and they try to avoid direct interaction with their rivals whenever possible the fate that befell Meln is not an uncommon one. <laughs> what happens to Telvani, uh, Telvani masters? Leads outside. You must travel to Old Isra from there. Defenses around Telhulin play havoc with portal magic. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm often talking about technology and how we how we actually even higher. <laughs> So this is like DPS build, but it's based on the Warden, which is not the best choice ever. Telbaro. Okay, so it's an underground Telvan Tower. You can play Elder, play Elder Scrolls online like like Skyrim, basically. <laughs> yeah, they, these are vampire beds, <laughs> coffins. I, I like when the Elder Scrolls online level design and and. Writing is, is on par and they're self aware, so to say. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, that clockwork fabricant actually appears if I if I make a critical damage. So this is like based 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 on the clockwork. It, at least partly. Kind of 
started to experiment with the builds. Uh, not too long ago. Uh, I don't know what these red things are, but I think they are, might be connected to, to some, like, side, side quest. Surprisingly, I'm doing crit, crit damage most of the time. Ah, baby edges and bull edge. something out of oblivion. The Shelly has erected a new arcane barrier. Remain vigilant. Uh, we'll need the Telparo insignia to temporarily unlock the wards. Four locks are situated throughout the tower cavern. Yeah, alright, so the red things were wards. They just didn't look like any part I have ever seen. So uh, apparently, Telvani wizards like their mush mushrooms and want to make like mutant mutant monsters out of mushrooms. Totally under understandable. Calling of the wizard should be like to, to mutant monsters. Why do you, you don't connect your chats, Twitch, YouTube with a service like Restream? Uh, I didn't find the... Uh, well, they are connected, but they are not... You, you, are you sure there's like option to connect uh, chats with the Restream? Because I didn't find the option. It, it might be there, but the thing is... Uh, I should have like bot that's actually posting Twitch chat to YouTube and other way around. Now, with Ristin you can do it. I'll, I'll look into it. I didn't find it the uh, option but didn't look too, too long. But it's probably like something you need bot for. Both cases. So let, let's, let's see what happens. Can't see YouTube comments. Yeah, that, that's that's normal. But then then again, there's 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 this problem that I'm using like the chat is actually coming from the Streamlabs, so I need to change the chat as well because I want I don't want to have like uh, two times uh, the chat chat in a, in a screen. But yeah, we will we'll see. We'll we'll check. We'll see and check what what the uh, what the restream can offer. At at least I found a similar uh, service from there, like what what what's in uh, Streamlabs. Because I can actually actually send the message to both. Uh, chats in both Restream and Twitch. Uh, uh, so, sorry, YouTube and uh, and uh, chat uh, and Twitch. Yeah, 
But then, then again, I, I can also attest that you haven't lost lost much of not seeing the YouTube com comments. Because you, yeah, you're pretty tech guy. You should be able to work it out. Yeah, if there's like easy easy solution, I would take it. But if there's like hard solution, hard solution is to code the <laughs> bot for that. Uh, that might not be something something feasible. And and it's more like you, uh, YouTube and Twitch are two different worlds. So there's like chance of somebody actually throwing dirt at you. It's much higher in YouTube, while Twitch is like more compact, more like family. So I I'll need to think about it. I can't promise anything, but I actually I will test the technology if the restream can for that. Let's check here. Everything. Okay, there's a stool. This is definitely why you need need to like check everything because there might be like recipes or materials, and those uh, crafting furniture recipes are actually actually most most expensive. This is pretty basic. This is, this is something we don't know we need. Uh, also this. <laughs> Lack of commit mentor or something. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I haven't had had time, but I'll I'll check. So far, it's it's uh, enough for me that I can actually send them one message to all. But but to actually give the YouTube uh, user the ability to throw dirt or, or dirt on me and so that you, everyone in Twitch also sees it. That's something I need to like figure out if it's like worth of it. Because not every uh, many things are possible, but not everything is actually worth of it. So let's let's see, let's see. I need to check check what the system is. Then again, we have like lots of bots and stuff like that that can can actually do the moderating. But we had like pretty pretty poor experiences of bots uh, moderating. So it's like. Mm, is it is it possible? Yes. Is it worth? Maybe. Need to figure it out. The princess stand ready to assist you in dealing with your rivals. Ha! Tell the princess, I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I expect them to uphold theirs. What princess are we actually talking about? Okay. More hounds. Companions preaches. Feeling chatty, are we? See, she has guards. Critical stri stri strike strike rating goes up. Uh, reduces damage. Light legs. I'm uh, not really feeling that. This is where I came. What dirt? A any anything the YouTube uh, YouTube um, watchers can actually actually throw at you. Ex especially if I play some game that has really di dividing the dividing the opinions. See able to follow the because you, uh, Twitch is like family. YouTube is like open to whole world and every I can't with, with a little, little, little chance of moderating of on the fly. With that lying murderer, you must do exactly as I say. Okay. My spirit is bound to the soul gem Sharani used to capture me. Disentangling the connection will require more time and expertise than you have. So simply take the gem and leave. Without me, she may never be able to unlock my black book. <laughs> Shalreni took the black book with her, but without my help, she'll have to unriddle it page by page. 
the labor of days or weeks, not hours. If she can even accomplish it, she's too fond of No, no, not Yari. Yari is just a Finn. <laughs> Finn I know from the days days back. But this, there was this case that I was playing Star Citizen and then there came a guy who who just wanted to like hammer the, his opinion in that Star Citizen is bad game and it's a like scam and other 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 stuff that frankly Star Citizen streamers are totally not okay with. I mean they are li really boring. So yeah, I, I can kind of see that. When, if you are like doing something divisive, the YouTube uh, watchers can actually come and just tell you something uh, not, not not nice and, and move on. And there's the, here's the rules of the channel. So yeah, that this this kind of rules are actually actually easier to uphold in uh, Twitch, which 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 is which has different culture. So do I want to connect this YouTube and Twitch remaster PC? She doesn't need it at all. She's in league with a Dramora, Torvasard, and a pair of Daedric princes. There's apparently a rite contained within the book they want her to cast. In return, they'll give her what she wants. Control of House Telvanni. That's a tall, tall thing. Remora Torvas are the part of the princess, and there's who who are those dead princes? Can you hear me? With the gem in your possession, I can come and go as I please. Now use that portal and let's go. Let's check. Uh critter dangers. <laughs> Creatures that will definitely try to kill you. Uh, uh, uh. There's our local troops lacks from 36 <laughs> sermons of Vic. Ah! Uh. <laughs> to kill them all to avoid embarrassing their master. Uh, tiny traps of org ogres. Yeah. Bringing a book for travel is well worth the pack space. Shame they're so heavy. Yeah, that's 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 my my reasoning at least. But it it depends yeah, totally on the channel nice in Twitch. If you have like culture in your channel, that something something is okay, like booing for something, uh, that's that's uh, their culture. But there's many Twitch channels who have like really tight, really strict rules of what, what, how to how to behave in in uh, chat. But there's there's like esports players who are actually these other esports players, and so yeah. I know I know the downsides of the of the Twitch streams as well. So some 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 channels have have just really laxed uh, rules, and others have a really really strict ones. Goes both ways. Being incorporeal isn't how I plan to spend eternity, <laughs> but being with you is a thousand times better than remaining in Sharenia's clutches. And we delayed her plans for my black book. Yeah, now, it's, those those are good good dealings with Hermes Mora. Good things to avoid. So, end of the world stuff. Well, that's something interesting at least. <laughs> something Obviously interesting. The help of a Telvani magister. Luckily, you have me. Let me conjure up a small reward for my old vault. A stipend for services rendered. Now, mind you keep my gem on you at all times. I can't help you save the world or advise your matters of import 
If I'm not on your person, unless I manifest, only you can hear me. Yep. Oh, and I can lend you certain abilities, such as my ghost sight. It's an improvement on the ocular lens you used in my tower. I created a spell to produce the same effect without any need of a crude focus. Turns out, it works even better now that I'm dead. My black book, The Tormenting Eye, contains many secrets. Ghost Sight was one of them. With it, I can expand your senses, allow you to see the hidden, the imperceivable, the unseen. I have no doubt it will prove important in the tasks ahead of us. Yeah, definitely the rules need to be uh, enforced and told. I have a like that uh, bot is going to like uh, post them in, in during during the chat at at times. Remember, I was a Telvani magister, still am as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before, and Shelreni. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Well, it is. Once, long ago, I was her mentor. But I recognized a darkness in her. And not the usual Telvani traits. Uh, she was reckless, dangerous. I refused to sponsor her advancement beyond the rank of master. And she coveted my black book. So, she killed me. 